Hello, my sumo friends. Um, I was trying to get away without having to do a video for this challenge, but I've had enough questions. I guess I'll do a quick video to explain how to do this. Um, of course, I want you to do it on your own without following me to the T, so hopefully you'll just use these as suggestions. Okay, so first we open this up. Edit in sumo paint. Hopefully this won't be a long video, but knowing me, it probably will. See how these clear layers are or not clear, but white layers are loading. Those are the layers underneath the main picture. Okay, so here's my main picture. Let's go ahead and right click on the text layer, delete. Let's go ahead and see this beautiful picture that I make. Let's destroy it. Let's go. Adjustments, hue and saturation, brightness, boink. Okay, so now it's just a black layer. Now, all these layers here that you can kind of see white on, those are all the things I've given you. Now remember, you can take these off, take them to your computer. All you need to do is turn every layer off but the one you want. Like, let's say um, we want this layer, which you can't see, but I'm going to describe this anyway. It happens to be uh, stars. So, if I wanted to save this to my computer so I could use it again, I would go File, Save to my computer, save it as a PNG and what PNG means again is basically a clear background um, image and then name it whatever you want so and you can find out what they are by moving them on top of the black layer so you can see them more clearly but that's how you save them to your computer or you can do it here in a remix so okay so let's turn all these back on okay so here's my black layer let's go ahead and experiment to move a layer up look it's a star so okay that's pretty cool let's move it over here Okay, let's try another layer. Look, it's a bunch of stars. Okay, but they look kind of funky on top of that star, don't they? So let's move them down. Oops, not that far down. <laughs> I guess the other star is on top, but they're kind of, kind of bright. So you can, you know, remember you can use these or not use them. So if we wanted to use these, say, but not have it block that star quite as much, well, let's erase a little bit. So let's choose our diameter here, and look. You're just kind of erasing them. So it makes this this star more predominant. Almost looks like it's kind of cutting a hole in the stars, doesn't it? Okay, so let's just pretend we like that, even though I'm not 100% a big fan of that. Let's see what another layer is. Oh, look, it's a nebula. And I happen to like the nebula better, so I'm going to get rid of this layer of stars. Move it down, and see how we have a nebula with a star? Let's go ahead and move that nebula. And we'll move this star. And already I kind of like that. Now let's say um, we wanted to use those stars, but we didn't want them to be so predominant. What about if this nebula was really a universal unto, unto itself? What if we took those stars and kind of shrunk them, free transform, and just kind of fit them in the nebula? Now, see, I already cut the hole in there, so. Um, that's kind of weird and funky, but we'll go ahead and go with it. Another thing we could do is take our eraser and just kind of erase it. So it's just another field of stars. But let's say we want it to sort of be behind that. Maybe filters distort twirl. What if it was like stars being sucked into the nebula? Ha ha ha, that's cool. And keep in mind, I'm just, I'm not. This is nothing planned. I'm just going as I go. Okay, so stars being sucked into the nebula. That's kind of freaking awesome. And let's say underneath the stars here, there was a planet that is also being sucked in. Well, where do we get that planet? There are a couple layers underneath here, and I'll show you one, which is planets, but I don't want to use them, so I'm going to hide that again. Let's go ahead and create a new layer. See this button? Add new layer. Let's take a gradient. Yeah, that one's fine. And we'll make a gradient. Well, that just covered everything up, didn't it? But I'm going to make a planet out of it. So let's uh, actually, let's first kind of give it some texture. So let's go paintbrush. Let's choose one of these oddball looking thingies. Let's take our opacity down. Let's bring the size up. And look what I'm doing. I'm just kind of, kind of just weirding it up. I mean, why not? Okay, now look what I can do. Filters, distort, wave lab, 
Ooh. Let's just, uh, actually, let's do this. Multi mirror. I don't think I like that much. Well, actually, that's kind of cool. Okay, let's go. See, this always turns out too long because I, I, I can't do these fast. Distort ripple. Ooh, cool. Okay, so let's choose that. Now let's do filters, stylize, emboss. And see how we just gave it kind of a rough texture? That's kind of cool. So, filters, 3D effects, sphere. Look what we have kind of a textury looking planet, which we can manipulate, turn around. Um, and I kind of like it right about, let's say there. It's kind of cool. And our sun's up here, and you'll notice we can adjust the sun here. So, cool, we're set. So let's shrink it. Okay. And let's say we wanted to change the color. Let's say I liked a bronzier color. So you have saturation, colorize, and bronze is kind of down here. So there you have it, kind of a bronzy color. Now, let's move that planet down so it's underneath that star layer and kind of suck into that nebula. But it doesn't really look like it's in the nebula, does it? So what if we were to make it a little bigger Okay, and let's try erasing a little bit of it so it's like almost underwater or under nebula. Shrink our brush. Just, uh, opacity. I think I already made one kind of like this, but this will give you a clue how to do it. Okay. So, let's kind of move it so it looks like it's more in the nebula. And how do you like that? So, and let's say that these stars that are being kind of sucked into the vortex around this planet, let's give it a little sp a sparkle. So we'll add a new layer, a paintbrush, change it to white, and let's go to 3D brushes, and we'll do some sparkles. Change our flow up. Could adjust the size so we get some smaller and some bigger. There you go. Okay, so let's see what else would we want here. I'm trying to remember the other layer I gave you. Let's look. Oh, more stars. And I like these stars a little better myself because they're a little bit, uh, um, I don't know, I guess more supple. So let's just leave it there. That looks kind of cool. So here we have a space scene with a nebula, some st a star field that's being kind of sucked into the nebula along with this planet, a big burning sun, and some other stars. We can uh, actually, the stars are kind of low. Um, another thing you'll notice that I do a lot is, I'll show you here merge this down to this layer, which I just merged those stars down to the black layer. And let's take the nebula, move it down, and we'll merge that down to the black layer too. And then filters, texture, bump map. Let's see how we kind of just gave it some texture. Let's move that light behind the sun here, or behind that, whatever that is. And let's say we really want to see how we've always kind of got these like little birds almost. Let's go ahead and say we want it to really intensify those so it looks like everything's kind of and check that out. That just uh, kind of gives it a, a cool texture like things are getting destroyed. And let's say we wanted to change the color. Adjustments, even saturation, colorize. Let's see how we just kind of gave everything more of a color there. Let's uh, kind of bump it up. And I'm sure you guys will notice that I just, I always like these orangey colors. It goes against my Pisces-ness, but it is just what I like. So, okay, so there you have it. Basically, you can work with it here, or you can take these individual layers, pull them to your computer, and use them for anything you like. You can make your own pictures with them. Um, who says that stars have to be used as stars, and planets have to be used as planets? Remember, you can always manipulate using the uh, warp tool. If you use move and then choose warp. So there are many, many, many things you can do. So. Hope that helps. Enjoy the challenge, and uh, we'll see you on the next one.